my daily reading of the Gospels has broadened my ability to understand and comprehend really what was going on from the time that Jesus began his public ministry to the time that they killed him on the cross, the conflict that was raging both in the spiritual realm and in the natural. As we find uh, this uh, group of people, scribes, Pharisees, uh, the, those who were just determined They were going to stop this man. He had too much popularity with the people. And so they convened their councils and they were about killing him. And one of the things that happened, this is after the time that Jesus had gone into the city before the Passover meal. They they found him in the temple quite often. And they were very much threatened by the very fact that Jesus was in the temple and people were coming to hear him teach. And so they're constantly uh, coming to him with these questions and these accusations, trying to find some way to get him in conflict with the Roman government. Because as we've already discovered here in the scriptures is that they wouldn't just take Jesus there in in broad daylight in in the the presence of this huge multitudes because they were afraid of the multitudes. But they wanted to kill him. And if it was possible, they wanted the Roman government to do it for them. And so they uh, tripped him up with questions. And they began to ask him whether or not should he pay tribute. Well, or in other words, to pay your taxes. And then Jesus said, give me a coin. And uh, they did. And then he held that coin up and he said, whose image and and, uh, description is here on this coin? And they said, well, that's Caesar's. Then Jesus with the wisdom of Solomon himself. It says, render unto Caesar what is Caesar's, and render unto God what is God's. And uh, once again, they, they had nothing to say because what he had said was just perfect. But, oh, they still wanted to get him. In some way, somehow, some fashion, they wanted to trip him up so they could take him and have him crucified is what they eventually did. But here's what we learn from these very, very practical teachings is that nobody could have done anything if it had not been God ordained. Scripture even tells us that even as Jesus hung on the cross, he could have called for legions of angels to come and take him down from that cross if he had so desired. But love, love ruled today. And it still does. The tremendous love of God for humanity who so desperately needed redemption. They needed a savior. This is Pastor Jack King with a gospel on the radio broadcast.